This is Bella Dutch from All Sing Out Tarot. Here with the intuitive reading for the zodiac sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising. For the month of May 2018, I feel like I'm short of breath, guys. I don't know. Maybe because when I start to go in my trance, it's a lot of energy that sits on me, okay? Because this month I'm doing something different. I'm doing the intuitive messages. So I am going to hear a lot of things in my head and I'm going to scream out a lot of things that are going on with a lot of you cancers out there. I'm going to do a nine card spread. I'm going to read three across, you know, all each row. And then I'm going to read three down. Okay, so these are all different scenarios that a lot of you cancers could be involved in for the month of May. Spirit and Universe, what are the messages you have for cancer? Sun and moon rising for the month of May 2018. Show me cancer. Here we go, Cancer. All right. All right. Six of Wands. Queen of Cups. And a Four of Cups. Eight of Pentacles. The King of Cups. This is a lot of water on water relationships. The Lovers. Ten of Wands. Judgment. And the Moon. Overall energy at the bottom of the deck is the devil. Hmm. This is something. Okay. Here we go, guys. Y'all ready? It's going to sound like I'm short of breath, but I'm okay. Trust me. I'm breathing. Okay. All right. So we have the six of wands, the queen of cups, and the four of cups. I'm going to say some of you cancers are also involved with other cancers. There's two zodiac signs that stick out to me very strongly, cancer and Pisces. If you're involved with a, a, a cancer, another cancer like yourself or a Pisces, it could be that this is a very high profile relationship, okay? Or this is somebody who is um, almost unattainable, emotionally unavailable. There's a lot of people that also want this uh, water sign like you want this water sign. It could be that you are not happy with the fact that they are not recognizing you, that they're always busy. They find themselves busy and, and into uh, the lights, camera, action sort of thing. Okay. Um, I just feel like uh, some of you cancers are having a hard time looking at other water signs, another cancer like yourself or a, a Pisces. You're trying to get this individual, but, but this, this uh, sorry, this individual is, um, high profile. Other people want this person. Okay. So you're trying to figure out like, you know, how do I go about this individual? I'm trying to show them that I like them, but they're not getting the point. Okay. Um, another thing that I'm feeling, uh, with a lot of you, is, is that this person could also be obsessed with, um, you know, this is a lady's man, uh, a man's lady, okay? Uh, the, this is individuals who are, uh, may have a rising sign and fire, okay? Maybe definitely Leo or um, Sagittarius. They're, they're into other people liking them, but they're not into, you know, they don't know what to do when you're offering them a commitment or a relationship. These are people that are not looking for a long-term relationship. Okay, they're looking for the glitz, the glam. Uh, definitely, it's going to be a Cancer that or a Pisces that have a rising sign in Sagittarius. Okay, definitely. Um, and then there's a, a select few that may be a Cancer and have a rising sign in Leo. Um you, you guys are trying to be with this individual and this individual is emotionally unavailable because they're chasing something else. Uh, some of them are chasing other women, other men. Some of them are chasing fame. Some of them are chasing money, that sort of thing. And you're getting really frustrated and really, really tired because you're here. You're offering a cup. You're offering, you know, stability, emotional fulfillment, and they're not looking for that at this time. Let them go. Okay. Because you can't make somebody settle down. You can't make somebody stay. Uh, with you that don't want to stay with you, okay? Next up, we have the Eight of Pentacles, King of Cups, and the Lovers. Some of you Cancers may be coupled with a Pisces or Scorpio individual. It seems to me that you're working your ass off for this relationship. You're constantly renewing yourself. You're constantly changing things. You're having children with these individuals. Um, 
multiple babies, just trying to keep this person entertained, uh, definitely into you. Okay. That could be, uh, listen, naturally you have it figured out. I'm not going to lie to you. Some of you cancers or Pisces have it all figured out. It might not be you cancer. It might be that you're with a Scorpio or Pisces who knows how to keep renewing the relationship. Okay. You start looking at another person, automatically they have another child. You start looking at another person, they go shut their, shave their fucking head off and, and look totally like a different individual. I cannot say anything wrong about that because that is a good thing. That is one thing that keeps you guys connected. But my question is, for how long? You know what I'm saying? And some of you have went and did this for many years because you figured that, you know, I figured out the, the formula to make a long-term relationship. The problem comes in when you are a cancer and you're working your ass off to keep a Pisces or you're a Pisces and you're working your ass off to keep a cancer or Scorpio or that sort of thing. And this individual is still looking at other women or still looking at other men and you're not happy. When you start to feel like you're doing this out of routine and not out of pure happiness, it's going to cause a problem. As of right now, I feel like a lot of you, Cancer Pisces, Cancer Scorpio, um, uh, uh, Cancer Cancer relationships are very secure. I I'm not going to lie to you. I feel like a lot of you are very secure as long as you are creating that change and really working your ass off to keep this person. The Eight of Pentacles is a really good card to have because it says that you constantly renew your um, gratitude when it comes to this relationship. And that is the ultimate secret. People often ask me, you know, what does it take to keep a man or woman in your life? I don't give a shit what sign it is. What, it keep, what keeps these people is gratitude really being appreciative of this individual, loving this motherfucker so much that you'll change your ways, you'll change your looks, you will change constantly to make this person please or to make this person have the greatest experience. Those of you that are sitting there talking shit, I ain't doing all that. Well, you're probably single as fuck or you probably didn't keep this person. This prob person probably left you and went on to somebody else. Okay, so... If you got a cancer like this in your life that has been in a relationship for a very long time and they constantly seem to change, you see them with a new outfit on, a new hairstyle, they just constantly change, but they've been in a relationship 10, 15, 20 years, you might want to talk to them and ask them how they're keeping their relationship working, okay? Next up, 10 of Wands, Judgment in the Moon card. There are some of you cancers that are going through... Uh, uh, um, DNA testing. You don't believe that a kid that you're being accused of is actually your child. Okay. And some of you are taking care of the responsibility of someone else's child. For some of you, you're right. This is not your fucking baby. It's been a long time trying to figure out. Some of you will definitely be going to court this month to figure out if the, the baby is in fact indeed yours. There's going to be some cancers that find out, yes, this baby is yours. Due to your addictions and your wild ways, you not wanting to settle down, but you having sex without protection and shit like that, it's going to get you caught up to take care of a responsibility with somebody that you don't even fucking know. Okay, this is supposed to be a fling. I got a baby with this person. I don't even know this person. I don't like this person, but you're stuck in that situation anyway. You still have to embrace or you still have to deal with this person for the next 18 years and take care of that child with that person. OK, a lot of your mistakes are going to definitely come to the forefront for the month of May. You may be starting to think to rethink or reevaluate your situation and see, you know, what the fuck is wrong with me that I keep getting into this fucked up situation. You'll be evaluating this month. OK, um, I have the judgment card here with the Ten of Wands. Some of you, uh, for a lot of you cancers, you will be regrouping. You'll be leaving one relationship in order to get into another relationship with a family or, you know, uh, some of you, you're not leaving your relationship until you find out that you are absolutely the father of the child. And when you do find that out, then you will be leaving your relationships. OK, moving on. Six of Wands, Eight of Pentacles, and the Ten of Wands. Okay, Six of Wands. Six of Wands always talks about vanity. This always talks about the high-profile character, the uh, main one important, that sort of shit. Okay, I kind of feel like um, this is just repeating itself with that first uh, situation. There's some individual that's going after somebody that is a high-profile, that has a lot of money, um, that's very rich. Uh, very attractive, uh, that sort of thing. You know, this person is up on a pedestal and you may seem that it's getting overwhelming. 
you may start to feel it's getting overwhelming. It, it may seem that it's getting overwhelming. OK, um, the reason being is because you're constantly trying to show this person that you like them, but the, the bill may be too hard. It may be too difficult with this Ten of Wands. All right. Um, it's too much to carry this person's ego. <laughs> like you're you're going to end up deciding that, you know what? Fuck it. I mean, I've done everything I can to show you that I really like you. I really want to be with you at this point. You know, I think that you just need to go on and just live the best life that you can live, you know, on your own because you're too fucking conceited. You're narcissistic. I don't want anything to do with that. OK, so a lot of you um, cancers may be going after somebody who is like this or it could be you yourself cancer that may be, you know, high profile, you know, sitting on top of the world. You might need to reconsider if you're making somebody work too hard to get your attention, you know, um, because that's not always good either. You know, you don't want to be known as the cutest guy or the cutest woman or the richest man or the richest woman without having character. You know, this is a person who doesn't have character. You know, they're they're these fucking robots of rich motherfuckers are extremely beautiful and they don't have character. They don't know what they want. They don't have empathy for others. And it seems like you have somebody who is trying to get what you trying to show you. I like you. I want to be with you. And you may have been constantly overlooking this person. This month you could lose out. This person may decide to jump shit. I'm done. Fuck you. This is too much. I'm not carrying this burden anymore. You know, get with you who you want to get with. That can be a problem because you could be passing up the right one cancer and falling in line with the wrong motherfucker. Okay. Let's see. We're moving on. We got the queen of cups. We have the king of cups and judgment. Like I said, this relationship, this is going to require, this is a renewal. For the month of May, there could be a relationship that broke up. Maybe you had some problems, you got some arguments going or whatever, but you could be reevaluating that relationship and deciding to pick it back up and renew it all together. Okay. I really feel like for Cancer and Pisces relationship, Cancer and Scorpio relationship, I feel like you'll be evaluating your marriage, evaluating your long-term relationship um, that you recently let go of or that you had a fight or an argument and you'll be deciding to hold on to each other. This is a life partnership. You guys are going to stay together. So there's really no concerns there. Moving on. Four of Cups, the lovers, and the moon. All right. There could also be some cancers who is in a situation where you know that there is this person that's trying to offer their love and affection for you. OK, with the four of cups, but you can't take it because you just have too much on your plate. You may be um, in a situation. Maybe you just recently had a child or you got um, a girlfriend and then you cheated on that girlfriend and then you had a kid or something. You know, there, there's too much on the plate of cancer is what I'm seeing. OK, and you don't mean to reject this offer. You know that it is an a, a, a extraordinary, beautiful offer. You know that this is the one, the one that is going to last forever. However, However, you may be feeling as if, listen, I can't get with you right now because I need to clear my plate. Okay. Maybe sometime in the future. Right now, I can't see it. Right now, I'm feeling trapped to this uh, lover or this uh, situation that I'm in. But maybe later on, I'll be up to take your offer. Right now, I kind of feel like um, cancer is stable and they're already in a situation at this time. They could be linked up with Capricorn or some earth sign or whatever. And are they happy in that situation? I don't feel it. I feel like some of them are not happy. Some of them are sticking with the situation because they simply have to. Okay. Um, but then there are others that may be happy in their relationship. They may be happy with what they got going on. And you could be offering this person love and affection, trying to get with cancer or whatever for the cross watchers on here, but they don't have enough evidence to decide to leave their home or their family for you. That's it. There's not enough emotion, not enough chemistry to keep the relationship together, okay? Whatever they got, on the other hand, they're going to hold on to because they know it. Even if it's not healthy, they know it, okay? They're glutton for punishment, all right? So that stands for those of you that may be with a cancer that keep telling you that they are leaving their partner for you or whatever or... They can't leave their partner because they got kids with this person or something fucked up. Okay, you know how cancer get down. They can be lying to you. The whole point of the matter is that I don't feel that you're enough to leave my partner for at this time. That's just at this time. Later, maybe it's something different. Okay? Alrighty, thank you. Like, share, comment below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit your notification button. Um, take advantage of Special 50 this month for the month of May 2018. 
hit me up in my email. Make sure you your subject line is special 50, you know, and be patient until I return uh, the invoice or get back to you and put you on the schedule. Okay. I love you so much. I thank you, Cancer. Until next month.